Okay, commands. We're going to learn how to say not only like eat, sleep, run, but we're gonna learn how to say don't eat yellow snow. Don't run in the hallway. And we're gonna learn some no commands, okay? So yes commands, um, we're gonna put a little note here that always end with an A or an E. So if it's an E, our verb is gonna end with an E and I say, hey, run, Forrest, run, corre, Forrest, corre. So it'll end with an E. But if I say, um, work harder on your assignments, trabajar is to work. So I'd say trabaja, trabaja mas duro, work more duro, work harder. Okay, now you have a few irregulars. Your irregulars, the first one is D, the second one is Oz, the third one is Ve. Do you know any more? D, Oz, Ve, yes? Pon, Sol, Se, Ten, Ben. Okay, so those are yes command irregulars. Those are not irregulars today when I'm gonna teach you no commands. Okay, they're only for yes. So if I say do your homework, I don't say ah say. How do I tell you do your homework? Oz. Oz la Torea. And now you're gonna have reflexive. So this is the new part. Reflexive commands like bathe yourself, wash yourself, dry yourself off. And you on these you have to attach. Okay. Attach te and add accent. The reason why, I'll let you write. The reason why you have to add an accent is because you're messing around with how many syllables the word has, and then it makes it super weird. So if I want to say, hey, wash yourself the hands. How do I say wash dishes? Lavar los platos. There's no say on the end because you're washing something else. It's a dish. But if you're washing your own hands, first the command would be lava. Correct? It ends with an A. It's not an irregular. It would just be lava. But I have to say wash yourself. So I have to hook on a te. Lava te. Wash yourself. Now, the accent, if I don't put an accent on here, this says lavate because the stress normally is found on the second to last syllable. Te is your new last syllable, so this would be your second to last. Does lavate sound like wash yourself? It, no, it sounds like a weird word, right? But lavate, you can hear the word lava, right? Wash. So before you hook on this te, you say, okay, lava, lava. Your second to last syllable is what gets the accent. Or if it's easier for you, like, how do I, what does banya sound like? Oh, the accent's on the first A. What does afeta sound like? Oh, the accent's on the E. So we'll do a couple examples of those. So I don't have any more room down here, so I'm gonna go over here. So just ignore, this is not the no command part. This is just a continued yes commands. So how would you change levantar say, which means levitate or get up, get up. How would I say get up in the command form? In my brain, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get rid of this say, and it's going to have to turn into a tay that will go on the end. So then how do I take the word levantar and make it end with an E or an A? Levanta, right? Levanta. Okay, so that's my command. But right now, if you just tell somebody, Levanta, you're like, okay, who do you want me to get up? Because there's nothing saying that I'm getting myself up. Levanta. Where's the second to last syllable? Levanta. Levanta. So the accent needs to go on the A before you hook on the te. And if you don't have an accent, that would need to be pronounced levantate, which sounds ridiculous. So that's why you put that accent on the second to last syllable 
before you attach the tay. You will attach a tay every single time. You'll never attach a may on a command. You'll never attach a say on a command because these are two commands. Okay, that's the only kind of command we know is the two form. So you will always hook on a what? Tay. tay. All right, so let's do one more example. How would I say, um, trying to think of, dry yourself off. Say, car, say. So how do I take, say, car, say, and tell somebody, dry off before you get in my car. Dry off. I'll give you a second to try it on your own. In your brain, you should be thinking, okay, I gotta do something with this say. It's a two command, so I know I'm gonna have to put it into a tay for yourself. All yes commands end with an E or an A. Say car turns into seca, seca, seca. My second to last syllable, one, two, should be on the E. So my command for dry yourself off is secate, secate. Now, what if I want to say, hey, put on your shoes. What is the verb for put? Starts with a P. Poner. Poner. Poner, you guys, is one of these irregulars. D os ve pon. So if I say put on your shoes, how do I say put on your shoes? Whoops. One second. Pon te. Pone te. So here's my te. Pone is my last syllable, right? So my second to last syllable doesn't exist, correct? So I don't need an accent because your accent goes on the second to last syllable and there is no second to last syllable. So if it's a D, Oz, Ve, Pone, Sol, Se, Ten, Ve, none of those would get an accent on it. So those are yes commands. So we're going to go back and we're going to hook a te and add an accent to your worksheet from yesterday. Okay? But now we're going to go to the no side. Tighter. I'm going to have you write it down, and then we'll do some practices. That's right, just go like this. Yep. Yep. All right. So no, we're going to go to the yo form. And I like how this rhymes. If I'm going to make a no, go to the yo, switch. To the opposite two. And you might be thinking, what in the world is the opposite two form? A are verbs. If I'm telling you, you swim, you work, what is the ending for a regular AR verb? That's for the yo form is an O. What's the ending for the two form? ES or AS, correct? Mm -hmm. So AR verbs normally go to an AS, yeah? Mm -hmm. And ER and IR verbs normally go to what? ES. Okay, so that's normal conjugating what you learned at the beginning of Spanish 1. So to say, don't eat yellow snow, I go to the yo form, which is como. Just stick with me here. <laughs> then I get rid of my O. You're like, okay, why don't you just say keep your stem? And then I go to the opposite, I switch. So ER and IR verbs are gonna end with an A S. Yeah, weird. Some of your faces are like, what? And then AR verbs are gonna end with an E S. So if I say don't eat, I say no comb. Comer is an ER verb, right? Comer, ER. So I'm going to say no comas. No comas. Nieve amarillo. Don't eat yellow snow. No comas. 
How would I say the verb nadar? You can write that down there, nadar. I'm gonna move over here. How would I say don't swim? I would say no, nod. Nadar is originally an AR verb, so if I have to switch to the opposite, I would say no, nod, ace. No, not ace. 